Welcome back to Ellie Scrubs Inn. You're watching part four of our surgical instrument guide, your hands-on tour through the tools of the trade. Whether you're starting your surgical rotation, prepping for lab, or scrubbing in for the first time, this series helps you build real familiarity with instruments you'll actually use. Today, we'll cover 10 more general surgery tools, some bulky, some subtle, but all essential. Let's begin. Balfour Retractor. The Balfour Retractor is a heavyweight champion in abdominal surgery. It's a self-retaining stainless steel retractor designed to hold the abdominal cavity wide open during midline laparotomies. The standard Balfour includes two lateral blades and a central detachable bladder blade. When properly assembled and positioned, it retracts the rectus muscles laterally and the bladder or bowel inferiorly, creating a clear, stable view of the entire intra-abdominal field. Once placed, the ratcheting mechanism locks everything in position, freeing the surgeon and assistants from manually holding retractors, a huge ergonomic advantage during long procedures. You'll most commonly encounter it during exploratory laparotomies, bowel resections, trauma cases, or oncologic surgeries where maximal exposure is essential. Pearl. Adjust the lateral blade sizes and central blade angle to tailor exposure. A small change in blade tension can significantly improve visibility. Pitfall. Overcranking can injure the abdominal wall or cause pressure injuries, especially in thin patients or prolonged cases. Always release slowly at the end of the case. Peen Clamp. The peen clamp, also known as the Rochester peen clamp, is a long, robust hemostat with transverse serrations that run the length of the jaws. This instrument is used for clamping larger blood vessels, thick tissue bundles, or mesentery, especially in deeper surgical fields. It's often compared to a Kelly clamp, but it's longer and heavier, offering greater reach and control. Intraoperatively, peen clamps come into play during bowel resections, splenectomies, and other major general surgery cases. Surgeons might use them to temporarily occlude blood flow, crush a vascular pedicle prior to ligation, or hold a thick piece of tissue prior to removal. Pearl. Great for deep, blind placements. Its length allows for control in spaces where your fingers can't reach. Pitfall. The crushing force is significant. Never use peen clamps on ureters, nerves, or friable structures. You'll damage what you're trying to preserve. Malleable Ribbon Retractor The malleable retractor, often called the ribbon retractor, is one of the most versatile instruments on the table. It's a flat, flexible strip of metal that can be bent into a wide array of shapes, making it incredibly useful for customized, gentle retraction. Unlike self-retaining retractors, the malleable has no ratcheting mechanism and must be manually held in place. You'll see malleables bent into S-shapes to lift intestines, curved under the liver for exposure, or used to protect bowel while closing fascia. Their smooth surface minimizes tissue trauma, making them perfect for delicate cases, especially when working around bowel or major vessels. Pearl, think of malleables like surgical origami. Mold them to the anatomy, not the other way around. Pitfall. They're only as effective as your assistant's hand. A shaky or poorly angled retraction can obscure the field or inadvertently damage nearby structures. Tonsil clamp. The tonsil clamp, or schnitt clamp, is a long, curved, fine-tipped instrument designed for deep dissection and vessel isolation. It has delicate, slightly tapered jaws with longitudinal serrations making it ideal for passing ties or dissecting around tubular structures. Despite the name, it's not just for ENT. You'll see it in vascular, endocrine, and general cases alike. In thyroidectomies, it's used to dissect around the trachea or isolate vessels. In vascular surgery, it helps pass ligatures under arteries. Its long reach and narrow profile let it navigate confined spaces with ease. Pearl perfect for placing ties around deep vessels. Thread your suture through the jaws, clamp down, and deliver with precision. Pitfall. It's easy to over-rotate or torque the clamp during dissection. Keep your wrist steady and use two hands for control when needed. Cushing Vein Retractor. 
The Cushing Vane Retractor is a small, angled, handheld retractor designed to gently lift veins and soft tissue aside. Its low profile and subtle curve allow for precise exposure in areas like the neck, axilla, or groin, where vital vascular structures lie just beneath the surface. In carotid endarterectomy, for example, this retractor exposes the artery without compressing adjacent veins. The slim handle and minimal bulk allow assistance to hold it comfortably without obstructing the view. The retractor's design follows the natural contours of vascular anatomy, minimizing risk. Pearl. Excellent when you need to expose a vein or artery in tight quarters without compromising its flow or structure. Pitfall. Avoid applying pressure for extended periods. Vein retractors are for light, temporary exposure only. Rat tooth forceps. Rat tooth forceps are one of the most familiar pickups in general surgery. You'll recognize them by the distinctive interlocking teeth, usually one on one side, two on the other. These teeth give the forceps a powerful, non-slip grip, making them the tool of choice for holding tough tissues like fascia, skin, or tendon. They're used extensively in wound closure, particularly when reapproximating the abdominal wall, lifting fascia for suture placement, or grasping tissue for excision. The grip they offer is firm and precise, ideal for high-tension areas where delicate pickups like Adson's or DeBakey's just won't hold. Pearl, use these during fascia closure for efficient bite placement and to avoid slippage under tension. Pitfall, never use rat tooth forceps on bowel, vessels, or friable tissue. The teeth will puncture or tear delicate structures with ease. Pool suction tip. The pool suction tip is a specialized suction device designed for removing large volumes of fluid from the surgical field, especially during abdominal and pelvic procedures. It's instantly recognizable by its two-part construction, an inner metal cannula and an outer sheath perforated with multiple holes. This design prevents tissue, omentum, or bowel from getting sucked into the tip while still allowing efficient fluid evacuation. You'll see the pool come into action after peritoneal entry, during irrigation, or right before abdominal closure. It's the go-to tool for suctioning blood, saline, or irrigation solution from large cavities. When assembled correctly, the perforated sleeve evenly distributes the suction force. Instead of one strong vacuum point like a Yankauer, the pool diffuses suction across all its holes, minimizing the risk of grabbing bowel, mesentery, or fat. In cases of heavy bleeding, it clears the field quickly to restore visualization. Pearl. Always use the pool during abdominal irrigation. Its multi-hole design makes it safe for suctioning near loops of bowel and omentum. Pitfall. The holes can clog with clots or tissue fragments, reducing effectiveness. Always check both parts before use, and irrigate the tip frequently during bloody cases. If suction weakens, remove and flush the pool before continuing. Operating a pool suction tip takes some finesse. Because of its broad suction surface, you'll want to move it slowly and methodically. Dragging it too fast can stir up debris or leave behind fluid pockets. If you're the assistant, hold it near the field's edge or under retractors to quietly keep the area dry without disrupting the view. Surgeons appreciate steady, quiet suction that doesn't compete with the primary dissection. Ferris Smith Tissue Forceps Ferris Smith forceps are big, bold, and built for strength. These heavy tissue pickups have deep, broad teeth designed to grip fascia, tendons, or even bone during orthopedic or general surgery cases. They're most often used when closing abdominal layers, particularly the rectus sheath or linea alba, where high tension approximation is required. Their construction allows for powerful grip and lift, and surgeons appreciate their stability when manipulating thick tissue. You'll see them regularly in colorectal, bariatric, or transplant surgeries where large tissue planes are handled. Pearl. Use these when you need confident control over heavy, slippery tissue. Ideal for abdominal wall closure. Pitfall. Mistaking them for finer pickups can be disastrous. They'll crush anything delicate, from bowel to muscle flap. Bipolar forceps. Bipolar forceps are used for electrosurgical coagulation, but with one key difference from monopolar cautery. The current passes only between the two tips of the forceps. That means no grounding pad, no current through the patient's body, 
and far less risk of collateral damage. In delicate surgeries like neurosurgery, ENT, or vascular work, this precision is everything. The forceps resemble regular pickups, but they're connected to an energy source. When activated, electricity flows from one tip to the other, coagulating only what's between them. They're especially valuable around nerves or tiny vessels where stray current could cause harm. Pearl. Bipolar is your friend when working in tight spaces near critical structures. Use them for pinpoint hemostasis with confidence. Pitfall. Keep the tips clean. Char or misalignment disrupts current flow and can cause stray thermal injury. Bulldog Clamp The Bulldog Clamp is a small, spring-loaded vascular clamp used for temporary occlusion of arteries or veins during precise dissection or anastomosis. Its jaws are finely serrated and coated to provide a secure grip without crushing the vessel. Because it applies gentle pressure, it temporarily halts blood flow while preserving vessel integrity. You'll most commonly see it in transplant, vascular, or cardiac surgeries, especially during bypass grafting or vessel repairs. The clamp is placed perpendicular to the vessel and retrieved using dedicated clamp forceps or fine pickups. Pearl, a perfect tool for creating a dry operative field during microsurgical vascular work. Pitfall, always account for your clamps. Retained bulldogs are a real risk if not tracked meticulously, and don't let them twist or kink the vessel. That's it for part four of our surgical instrument guide. You now know 40 of the most commonly used tools in general surgery, and we're just getting started. If this series is helping you feel more confident in the OR, hit subscribe, share it with your classmates or residents, and leave a comment with the tools you want us to cover in part five. Thanks for watching Ellie Scrubs In. See you next time in the OR.